Hyun looked at the ashen face belonging to Han as he was placed in the chair. To make sure his body didn't fall over, there were straps holding him up. Seeing him like that made her heart hurt, but it was something she had no choice in doing. <laughs> the person who dared stand up against me is dead! Eric laughed while celebrating with a glass of wine. I can only imagine what his face looked like once he realized the woman he trusted had betrayed him. Walking up to Han, Eric pulled back his hand and slapped his face, causing the chair to tip over nearly. How do you like that? It is nothing compared to how my wrist hurts from your grip while you were humiliating me. He screamed at Han. He tilted his head back and finished the wine in the glass, some of it dripping down his neck. When Eric looked back at her, she only saw madness in his eyes. It seemed like the power he had gained was affecting him. Swaggering up to her, he looked at her and asked, How does it feel to kill him? I saw the way you acted towards him. The way he looked at you with disgust was great. I wonder how he would have reacted if he knew how much you enjoyed getting plowed by me. How you would beg me to bend you over. He laughed at the image. Without any warning, his hand shot out and he grabbed a fistful of her hair. You are just a whore! What did you think was going to happen? Did you think this weak piece of shit was going to save you from me? He grinned at seeing her pained expression. Hyun struggled not to fall over and not move, to minimize the pain Eric was inflicting on her. He moved his head close to her and whispered, did you love him? She looked at him, terror on her face, worried about what he was going to do. Hyun tried to deny having any feelings for E. Seeing her deny having any feelings for E, his eyes opened wide. How about I do you in front of his corpse? I'll ride you like the animal you are and you can watch his decaying face. Just like a slut, you will enjoy it as you see the only person who cared about you sit there. Eric looked back at E's body, giving Hyun the chance she was waiting for. From a hidden sleeve, she pulled out a dagger and aimed for his heart. With a sad smile, she saw the dagger get closer and closer to her target. She thought about how she had betrayed E, and how he would never forgive her. It didn't matter to her because Hayu knew that it was unlikely that she was going to make it out of this situation alive. She knew that killing the prince would cause her eventual death. Did you really think I was ignorant of what you were plotting? Eric's voice asked while his face was turned away from her. With inhuman speed, Eric turned his head and used his free hand to yank the dagger from her grip. Hayun yelped from the pain. I know everything about you. You belong to me, yet you thought you could hide the fact that you cared for that bastard? I know that you only killed him to gain an opportunity to kill me, knowing that Brat wouldn't be able to. Eric spat. His expression changed to curiosity as he thought out loud. I was not expecting the drug that I had been administrating to you would lose its effect after all this time. There was some level of admiration in his eyes. It seems like there was some fight in you and you were biding your time until you could be confident of killing me. He laughed at the idea as if it was the most ridiculous thing in the world. Holding the knife in his hand, he reversed it and then slammed the pommel into a temple. The world darkened by the blow, though it slowly came back. Everything was spinning as she tried to fight off the dizziness. A blow struck her abdomen causing her to bow over, coughing up blood, only being able to stay up because her hair was still being held in Eric's fist. I was hoping to enjoy your body for one last time, but it seems as if you are no longer of any use to me. Eric ended the sentence with a kick to her side. She felt her body lose its strength and attempt to fall over, causing a lot of her hair to being yanked out from being held in such a rough manner and a sudden increase in weight from her unable to keep standing up. A fist continuously slammed into her face as Eric continued to say, 
You were given a purpose thanks to me, and you reward me with your betrayal? Do I look like some peasant who can do whatever you wish to? A part of the world disappeared, likely due to her eye being swollen shut. While Eric was beating her, she tried to keep looking at E. She still remembered the look of confusion on his face when he turned around and met her eyes before collapsing to the ground. A tear streamed down the side of her face as she thought about what she had done to the only person that actually cared about her. There was a sudden sharp pain in her belly, and when she looked down, the dagger she used against Eric was sticking out of her. I would watch you die, but Father has several tasks for me to complete soon. If I do not hurry, I may have to deal with him lecturing me. Enjoy the few moments you have before you die like an animal on the floor. A fitting end for someone Father picked off the street. He laughed loudly and started walking away from her. She could hear his footsteps walk out the door. The silence was all that replaced the violence in the room. Laying on the ground, Hyun could feel the life draining out of her. Her body was already beginning to feel heavy. With the last of her strength, she reached out and dug her fingernails into the floorboards. Pain flooded her body as she dragged herself forward. The feeling of several nails being ripped off and the pommel of a dagger dragging against the floor as it dug around in her body. Keeping her only eye focused on E, she pushed through the pain as her vision began to blur. All she wanted in this world was to be next to him when she died. She wanted to hold his hand in hers one last time, just like it did in that city on that magical journey where she felt like an ordinary woman with a man that held feelings for someone like her. The blood loss became faster with the amount of effort she was putting in. Soon Hyun couldn't feel enough strength, reaching only a couple of feet away from E's body. With her bloody hand, Hyun reached out to him, wishing she could feel his warmth for one last time. E, I am sorry. She coughed up blood, but ignored it. I thought I could kill him, so I used a poison that would make it seem like you had died. Seeing you dead, Eric would have no reason to go after you if I failed. Teardrops fell onto the floor, mixing with the pooling blood. I just wanted you to be safe, though I know that you are incredibly strong. There are powers that are even stronger than you and I just wanted you to be away from them. Seeing you back in your city, where you'd live in safety, was my dream. Holding back the anguish screams, Hayun continued, I knew that someone like me, who had been treated like a sex slave, was not someone you deserved to have around. She smiled bitterly. Did you know that I had a dream about us? Thinking about the dream, Hyun smiled as her eyes were already beginning to lose focus. We were in another world. The two of us are happy and raising a family. You look so handsome, holding your son and daughter in both of your arms. Hyun laughed between her weeping. I know, it sounds crazy, especially coming from garbage like me. E's face filled her eye. Though his image was mainly how she imagined the look when he smiled since her vision was deteriorating. She tried to continue telling him everything. I love you, E. I wish we had met someplace else, where I would take care of you and you would have filled my days with joy. A cold feeling began creeping up on her as if death had its hand on her shoulder, letting her know her time was near. If we are ever reborn, would you wait for me? If you saw me, would you still love me? If you see me again, would you be able to forgive me? As the strength of her body faded away, her outstretched hand slowly lowered along with her head both resting on the floor. On Hayun's face, a final tear rolled across her face and dropped down to the floor. The life in Hyun's body slowly faded away 
and the last breath escaped her bloodied lips. The room was silent, with Hyun's body laying on the floor, as if the world was mourning along with Hyun, sharing her grief. <laughs>